just found out a couple nights ago. Um, I got invited to this trip. He's kind of lined up and uh, I was able to uh, go on this trip. I'm going south, way south. Um, I got a 17 hour drive heading to Grand Isle, Louisiana. What's up everybody, good morning. It is uh, not super early. Um, we definitely all slept in the first night and I slept great. Um, I'll have to give you guys a house tour. The place is pretty sweet and uh, today's the first full day, it's Monday. First full day here in Grand Isle and uh, we got out and did some fishing last night for a couple hours and I had a blast, just kind of broke in the cobwebs and uh, Broken sea legs. That's something I'm definitely not used to uh, coming from Nebraska. So, we had a good time. Weather's great. It's a little windier today, but we can, uh, we have a couple options. We can go offshore, we can go inshore, and uh, fish more of the marsh stuff. And uh, so, I don't know what we got planned yet today. We're just going to go fishing. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, the first video is just a travel vlog, just kind of documenting my travel down from Nebraska to Grand Isle. That's the longest drive I've ever made. And, uh, yeah, this is just a start to an awesome journey, awesome vacation, and uh, pretty lucky that I got to be able to do this. So, let's, uh, let's start this day off right, and um, catch you when we get on the boat. That's a nice one. Oh my god. Let me get the That trout, guys. Nice trout. Yeah, it is. Missed another one. Messed up the bait. Yeah, you didn't have a trout before. No, <laughs> definitely not. Seen a flash. Oh, big catfish. <laughs> That's a big one. Oh, you should swallow that one too. Yeah, you're gonna get it. Get the size of that catfish. Rolling the way it was fighting compared to the fish yesterday. The damn tuna.
Are those waves from that boat? No. No, it just got worse? Yeah, it just it just builds every once in a while. You'll get huge waves. Yep, the red. Yeah, it's a big one. If he's not ready, I'm not gonna hit. Gotta take the leader. <laughs> it's a big red. Oh, it is. I've never eaten a red fish. You haven't? No. Yep. We, we kept one down in Florida. Did we eat it? Yeah. Oh. The one I caught. We may have made, we may have put it in ceviche, but oh, maybe that's why I didn't. I didn't have it. <laughs> Heck yeah. He hit it like pretty much right next to the boat. That was more of a shallow one. That's, that's a pretty big one. It's my biggest, for sure. Another big red. I just seen him. Yeah, he's right here. He's not that When I seen him, he was like up on the rocks. You have a little time. Yeah. He frayed the crap of the line. So remember, net, bring up, it up like this. Upwards. All right. Cool. Here we go. Thank you. Uh, I could, I don't know how. Look at that. Just the line is like shredded. That's my second redfish of the day. This one was bigger than the first. First one was 30 inches. Or the first one was like 28 and three quarters. This was 30. So 30 and a half. It's my biggest red redfish ever. Awesome. Let's get him right back. We're using just uh so you make these jig heads right yeah uh, these are uh, jig heads Malcolm makes this is an ounce size weight with uh what, what was the bait 
Swimmer Z. Swimmers, swimmers, or Swimmer Z, however you pronounce it, uh, from Z-Man. It's got that Elastec, so this bait's gonna last almost all day unless I lose it. I gotta retie my leader. This one, uh, he got up on the rocks and shredded it, so you gotta do that and we'll cast out, hopefully get another one. Oh, sweet. This thing is beautiful. Well, that would, they have some teeth. Yeah, they do. Wow. Nuts. They have a lot of teeth. Um. A little update for you guys. It's 1.47. We've been fishing probably this spot for like three hours or so. Uh, basically, it's a big, long, like, rock jetty. And when we first found it, there was tons of uh, bait and uh, birds breaking. And that's when we instantly hooked up with a big redfish. I, I even hooked up with an even bigger fish that I didn't even get on camera. I just hadn't strapped my GoPro on yet. We uh, ventured on like another 300 yards down to another rock jetty and he caught that Spanish mackerel. And after that, it's been pretty slow. So I think uh, it's about one, almost two. We're gonna head in uh, to the marsh and see what we can do. Try something a little different. But right now we got a big, the big redfish and the big trout in the live well. We'll probably uh, clean those when we get back to the house and maybe have some fish for dinner. We'll see. Are we gonna make some ceviche? Oh uh, well, yeah, redfish ceviche is pretty good. Maybe make some ceviche. We'll see. But I'll catch you when we get to the marsh. Pretty. No, well, let's try another one. Sight fish to red fish. <laughs> I just had to get it. In oh. oh no! My gosh! You're ready for a fight. What the heck is that? That's a black drum. That's a black drum? Yeah. Oh my god. They're not like, they're almost like flathead. They don't like, they're like slow moving, heavy fighters. Is, or is he just don't know he's hooked yet?
you think he weighs? No way. <laughs> this is... of those dinky little freshwater drum we catch at Nebraska. That's way bigger than I thought it was. How gone is that thing? <laughs> it's way down there. Uh, yeah. uh, don't put your hand in it. No? No. These things crush oyster shells and stuff. This is 23. This is nuts. He is so heavy. Just a gnarly looking fish. Huge. He's kind of got like carp scales. They're huge. Just beautiful colors. Alright. He was ready. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. <laughs> Well, those two fish that are right there on the table is what we caught this earlier this morning. One of the 
first fish that we got this morning. Um, we ended up keeping one redfish and uh, one sea trout. That's all we're going to keep for today. Um, that's going to be a lot of meat. I think uh, we're going to make some ceviche with, li with it and then uh, try to fry up the sea trout and the redfish. I've had both of these fish before from our, my Florida trips. So I definitely know they're pretty good. And I'm super excited to eat some uh, saltwater fish. I love fish and I don't eat it enough at home. I don't keep a lot of fish at home. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I caught my biggest redfish ever and my first ever black drum and probably will probably be the biggest black drum I've ever catch. So that was super exciting. I had a blast on the water today and it was only the first day, full day of fishing. So we got a long, we got a few more days, several days left and uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I definitely didn't expect to catch the fish we did today. So thank you. See you next time.